What's up, YouTube? And welcome in to Easy Work Sports Talk, where I bring you NBA news. Now, the topic of the day is, is the Warriors dynasty over? Let's talk about it. Now, in my opinion, I think the Warriors dynasty is over. They just lost to the Toronto Raptors. You had a healthy Steph Curry. You had a somewhat healthy Klay Thompson. He, I know he injured his hamstring, then he tore his ACL in game six. But Steph Curry, Thompson, Draymond are three all-stars. Then you got Andre Iguodala, I believe, who made one all-star team before. They couldn't even get that home without KD. As great as they is, everybody was talking about hyping him up, saying they can win the finals. Going into the finals, everybody was talking about Oh, yeah, the Warriors, they don't need KD. They play better without KD, all of this stuff. And then now when KD was out, they lose it to the Raptors because they actually play defense. The Raptors, I'm talking about, who can shut that shooting down, now they now, now all of a sudden they need KD. And that's what I'm talking about. So to me, I feel like the Warriors dynasty has to be over because they just got exposed. They didn't have a bench this year. And even if they bring Klay Thompson back on a max and they try to bring back KD on a max, they're going to run through the same problem. Because if one of them get injured again, then if KD get hurt again or if Curry go down in the playoffs, we already know Kevin Durant's record when Curry doesn't play, when he just plays with Thompson. You already know his record, and it's, it's trash. He, does, he doesn't have a winning record. It's, it, he has a winning record, but it's not that good against opposing teams without Curry. And then we just seen KD be out, and you've seen what KD and Klay Thompson can do. That's why they needed to go get KD. But if they stay healthy, then they got a chance. But I'm going to talk about KD in another video about where I believe he may sign or if he's going to stay with the Warriors. And I'm going to talk about that team that I feel that's going to stop the Warriors, the Golden State Warriors, from being able to capture championships to even basically even stop them from even getting to the NBA Finals. I'm going to discuss that team in another video. But back on track, you got to understand the Warriors have been at this since 2015. So it's, what, four years? Four years of being in a championship-level competition. So you got to think, that takes a toll on their bodies. Their bodies, you saw KD body broke down. Klay Thompson body broke broke down. Steph Curry body breaks down every single year. So I'm thinking the Warriors dynasty is over when you talk about contending for, for championships, being able to reach the finals. I think that's dead. I think that's an afterthought. Um, because the team that I'm going to talk about in the next video they're going to be contending for the next three, four, five, possibly six years. So the Warriors, the dynasty, as you know, is dead. Now, don't get me wrong. Will they be a good team record-wise during the regular season? Steph Curry, will he be able to contend uh, and get to the playoffs and take his team to the Western Conference Finals? Yeah, I, I see that. I think they can get to the Western Conference Finals every year, but I think they're going to lose every year. I think is there a possibility that if they face an injury or a nagging injury or two, I think they possibly could get bounced in the semi in the semifinals by Houston or by Portland because they're going to get better. These the West teams, the Western Conference is catching up to the Warriors. You know, it may not seem like it, but the Western Conference is catching up to the Warriors. And Jimmy Butler will be playing in the West next year. And I'll be discussing that where he'll be playing in another video as well. And so I just feel like the Western Conference is catching up to these teams, uh, to, to the Golden State Warriors to be specific. And I just feel like their run has come to an end. And when you think about the Warriors' run, let's go year by year. In 2015, they faced teams that were hurt in order to get to the Western Conference, in order to get to the NBA Finals. Every single team that they faced, their point guard was out or there was some type of injury. And then when they got to the finals, Kyrie Irving was out. You know, Kevin Love was out. 
So they won their first championship. Then in 2016, they were a 73-9 win team. 73-9. Curry gets injured a little bit. They still were able to get through the um, through the Portland Trail Blazers and get to the finals. After that, they they let the Cavs come back from a 3-1 deficit, and they lose the finals. Then the next year they go get KD, and then they win the next two championships. But if you look at it, each each year they've either they've either had a cakewalk or they beaten teams that were injured. So when you really put their perspective, their, their when you really put it in perspective, their run, their little title run, is really not as much as people want to say they're an all time great team. They went up against a LeBron James team in the finals year after year that doesn't play any defense. That doesn't play no defense, no kind of defense, just an all-offensive type of team. And I'll give Golden State credit. They're such a great offensive team, but they also do play defense. But they went up against a LeBron-led team that, that plays no defense. And now this year you see that they get exposed when they play up against a team that can score just, a, just enough but play great defense. So this team that I'm going to talk about in the next video, trust me, you're going to be like, whoa, this damn team ain't going to be able to be stopped, won't be stopped. But we're going to see how this team puts pieces together to be able to contend in the West. But I guarantee you, this team that I'm going to talk about in the next video, trust me, will never, ever lose to the Warriors in the playoffs. The Warriors dynasty is over. I'm looking at it like Andre Iguodala is getting older, Sean Livingston is getting older, and uh, rumor has it that he's going to be retiring. I don't think that's a rumor. I think uh, I think that's something known that he he's planning on uh, retiring. So I just think overall their run has come to an end. You see, KD's hurt, Clay Thompson's hurt, and KD may not even return. I'll talk about that in another video. Like I said. But just looking at their team, without KD, I think LeBron would have beat them in 2017 with Kyrie again, and LeBron would be a four-time champion. Then I think in 2018, if they don't get KD, LeBron will probably three-peat with the Cavs. Kyrie stays. It's a whole different narrative. But because KD joined, it kind of covers up Curry and Thompson. But if KD leaves the Golden State Warriors, they'll be exposed like they were exposed in the finals. So at the end of the day, man, the farthest I see the Warriors getting with KD or without KD is to the Western Conference Finals. Because this team I'm going to discuss soon huh, will be in the finals year, will be in the NBA Finals year after year. And the Warriors won't even sniff the NBA Finals again. Their dynasty as we once knew, the dynasty that we once knew, called the Golden State Warriors, is over with. See y'all in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all if y'all got a different opinion, leave a comment down below, man. But don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Easy Work Sports Talk.